SEC sources confirm Gary Gensler resignation. It says it. SEC sources confirm. But right from the start of this video, I do want to say it was an anonymous source, right? And it does say it's confirmed, but it's not, as far as I see it right now, as I'm recording this video, it's not a massively confirmed thing. So I think we can just tread lightly as we cover this. There are other evidences that this really is happening. And I want to break that down in this video as well after we go through this article and what it's saying from the anonymous source. But this is a huge headline, especially with everything that has been going on over the last month or so. I tweeted this on June 24th. I said, I think Gary Gensler should resign. And I don't think when I tweeted this, I don't think I really thought this would happen. And I think this is a reflection of the general sentiment across the cryptocurrency space. A lot of you out there probably thinking the same exact thing uh, when I tweeted this. And even now, as we're covering this, this title or this headline, whether it's true or not, everybody kind of is like, man, there should be some resignation. There's so much contradiction happening. There's a lot of harm happening because of how the SEC is being run. I want to break down this article and in particular, look at the anonymous source, what they're saying, and then I want to kind of back it up with evidence that suggests this really could be real. And the evidence might be more compelling if you start bundling it all together than just this one article. So in a stunning revelation, an anonymous official from SEC has reportedly disclosed that Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, has submitted his resignation following an internal investigation. So already done, already submitted, according to this. The SEC, the anonymous SEC official stated, Gary Gensler has resigned from his position as chairman of the SEC following an internal investigation to alleged misconduct. Now, this is a bombshell type of headline, right? But what are the headlines going to be if this is actually happening or this has happened? What was the misconduct and what are those headlines going to speak to? The news of an internal investigation raises questions about potential improprieties and whether his actions were in line with the standards expected from the head of a regulatory body. One anonymous industry insider commented, the resignation of Gary Gensler in the wake of an internal investigation is deeply concerning. It calls into question the integrity and effectiveness of the SEC under his leadership. The financial industry relies on the SEC to ensure fair and transparent markets. And any allegations of misconduct at the top level erode investor trust. And that's, that's us, everyone. That's the position that we've been in. Another anonymous source. And this word kind of is interesting. There's, there's more than one anonymous source. Familiar with the matter emphasized the importance of accountability in regulatory agencies. The SEC has a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the financial markets. When the head of such an institution faces allegations serious enough to prompt resignation, it raises significant concerns about the regulatory framework and the enforcement of rules. The SEC must address these issues swiftly and transparently to restore confidence. That looks very compelling. The exact nature of the alleged misconduct or details of internal investigation remain undisclosed, leaving room for speculation, uncertainty. Until an official statement is released by the SEC or Gary Gensler himself, the public and the financial industry can only speculate on the reasons behind his resignation. So that's a really just, that's a really compelling article and, and sources, the sources even. Let's break down kind of everything surrounding this article and why it really starts to make sense. This is from uh, an article from June 29th. This was not long ago at all. Former SEC chair Jay Clayton says Gary Gensler overstepping his power. Here's a clip. This is uh, Cameron Winklevoss kind of tweeting this clip. Former SEC chair Jay Clayton describes the new and deeply un-American ethos of Gary Gensler in the SEC. If we're not losing cases, we aren't suing enough businesses. This is a total abuse of power. Check it. Gonna, yeah. Right, but this is an ethos now, which is yeah. you know, unless we're losing, we're not bringing enough cases. You know, that may be fine for private litigants against each other and, and think about. It, but when you have the power of the state, and you're you, you're supposed to only bring cases and only make rules that you think are going to pass judicial muster. Let's take. That's not good for current SEC chair Gary Gensler when the former SEC chair Jay Clayton. Who, hasn't, who doesn't have the best track record either, right? As far as, as we see in terms of crypto and maybe things that he said, but when you have this happening on, on national television, that's a big deal. That is not good. Former or from ally to adversary, 
This is something I found interesting. This doesn't speak directly into any type of resi- resignation, but this just came out today, and this is from Forbes. That's a very, you know, it's a really big organization that's breaking this, this article down, just coming out kind of simultaneous with this news that's happening. The three stages of Gary Gensler's crypto evolution. This looks like it, and I could be way wrong speculating too much. This looks like somebody that's, that, that has seen the resignation of Gary and wants to tell the story of Gary's career, short-lived potentially career. And they break it down. And I'm not going to get too deep into this. Stage one, the ally, 2018 to 2020. We've seen all of the clips. Gary, almost seemingly a proponent and a fan of cryptocurrency. Stage two, the agnostic, 2021 to 2022. Stage three, the, ad, the adversary, 2023 to present. This article, it's just the timing of it is really weird, right? Because this is just coming out as this headline is coming out. SEC sources confirm Gary Gensler resignation. So that's something. And mainly because it's coming from Forbes. I think that's why it was standing out to me. Then we have this. This was just uh, today as well. This article, at least. Blockchain Association. After SEC Chair Gary Gensler sued Ripple, Binance, and Coinbase, Chair has to step back. Industry veterans are now calling on SEC Chair Gensler to step away from crypto enforcement actions. There have been allegations of the top cop favoring traditional finance players. We have Jake Chervinsky over here. Again, June 29th, extremely recently. And he's just a very well-known lawyer that just does so much work for the space. He he put this out the other day. SEC Chair Gary, Gary Gensler has wrongly prejudged that all digital assets are securities. As a result, federal law requires that he recuse himself from all enforcement decisions related to digital assets. Very simple. This is the law being broken down here. Every SEC enforcement action must follow the Wells process. In that process, the SEC commissioners are meant to act as neutral arbiters, impartially weighing the evidence and arguments presented by SEC staff, the prosecutors, and the enforcement target, the defendant. When it comes to digital assets, Chair Gensler is far from a neutral arbiter. For example, in 2023, he said, everything other than Bitcoin, you can find a website, you can find a group of entrepreneurs, but at the core, these tokens are securities because there's a group in the middle. And this is one piece of it. I mean, we've been talking about all of this other, all of these other things over the years. Here's a clip from 2018 of, of Gary Gensler stating that three quarters of the crypto market are non-securities. Check it out. Three quarters of the market is, is- non-securities it's just a commodity a cash crypto um, so you'll hear debates about initial coin offerings and what's a security and what's not a security relevant relevant and important debate but for three quarters of the market it's not particularly relevant as a legal it's crazy the contradiction is just it's crazy and here's uh this basically this uh paper or, yeah, it's a paper that Jake Travinsky filed. This is what it is. Chair Gensler must recuse himself from digital asset enforcement decisions. Very long. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. But there's a lot to it, everybody. And I should also mention, there have, been, there have already been rumors that donors are unhappy with, with Chair Gensler. This was actually from June 19th. Check this clip out that we covered uh, about this exact topic. This thread goes on. Apparently, plenty of big-ticket donors have mentioned Gensler as well. Even ones who agreed with his stance on crypto are embarrassed by his approach. Starting to look like Warren, Yellen, and Gensler brought down the hammer too hard for even their own party. There is, and there's there's other stuff, right? But this is just kind of a handful of things that truly do play into this headline. We're going to find out probably in the shorter term if it's definitely happening or not. But I wanted to kind of fairly bring it to you and really just also discuss, I think, the relevant headlines that have been happening and really just building up over the course of the last few weeks even uh, that play into this. So let me know your thoughts, everybody, about this, this title. I hope you're having a great start to your week. I will see you all in the next video. Please be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.